Greetings my excellent friends and welcome back to Daily Scuba News. I hope you're all well this fine Monday. So in today's show I'm going to talk about a couple of filmmakers who are going to troll over exploring the wreck of the MS Estonia in the Baltic Sea. But before I talk about them, let me explain why they're in trouble. So back in 1994, 1994, sorry, the MS Estonia was caught in a storm in the Baltic Sea. It's been said that the ship's retractable ramp was defective. So during the storm, the car deck flooded, causing the ferry to roll over and sink sadly killing 852 people. Uh, the MS Estonia is known as the deadliest peacetime shipwreck in European waters. Anyway, in 1995, the authorities in Estonia, Finland and Sweden signed an international agreement that said the wreck was the final place or the final resting place for the victims of the disaster. Uh, so they banned any exploration in the area out of respect. That does make sense. Anyway, so let's move the clocks forward to 2020. A new documentary was released about the incident that led to doubts about the original investigation, and that's now prompting authorities to, you know, probe a bit further. The original inquiry has been disputed for years by survivors and relatives of the victims that died, with many disputing that the actual ferry sunk due to an explosion on board or that it actually collided with another ship. And now this new footage, which was shown on the Discovery Channel back in September 2020, sides with the people who dispute the original findings, as it shows footage of a four meter hole, hole in the hull. Kind of got that. Anyway, now according to experts who viewed the footage, only a mass force from the outside could have actually caused a rupture like that. So what have the authorities said about this footage? Well, they say that the new information cannot change the conclusion on how the MS Estonia sunk. The Estonian government found that the newly discovered damage was too small to have sunk the ship as quickly as it did. Uh, officials have gone on and said the possible explanation for such damage could be uh, that it had contact with an underwater object such as a seabed rock. But Estonia have not opposed to opening up a new investigation into the, you know, into the wreckage. So why are the filmmakers in trouble? Their footage might lead to the real reason why the MS Estonia sank. Well, it's all to do with that international agreement between Estonia, Finland and Sweden. The team broke that agreement. Now, what I need to point out is that the members of the crew who aren't from Estonia, Finland or Sweden are not on trial because they're not from those countries. But director Heinrich Evertsen and analysis Linus Andersen are. The two defendants are accused by Swedish public prosecutor's office of traveling to the site of the disaster on a German flag ship where they were found by Finnish coast guards. They're the first to be tried for violating this agreement and breaks of behind or possible imprisonment of up to two years. And the footage that they actually captured using an ROV will not be used as evidence in this trial. It's all about them physically going to the site and not what they found. But due to mountain pressure caused by the footage, Sweden have recently said that they plan to lift the ban on the wreckage so it can be investigated by scuba divers in mid-2021. So, is it right to carry on with the trial? Well, as of recording, it's actually still going ahead. On a personal note, I understand it's a final resting place for people, so I agree that you shouldn't have, they shouldn't have gone there to film the area. But at the same time, their footage might shine a new light on what happened. But what are your thoughts? Should Henrik and Linus receive a fine or worse jail time, even if it leads to a reinvestigation? I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. And that's it, the first daily scuba news of the year done and dusted. Don't forget we're still filming our Q&A which goes live on a Friday afternoon. So if you have any questions about anything to do with scuba diving, just add the hashtag AskMark with your questions so we can find it and add it to the show. Uh, you can also watch Daily Scuba News obviously on YouTube like you're doing right now, but you can also see it earlier over on our Instagram, which as of recording is nearly on the 5,000 subscribers. So if you could do us a solid, head over to Instagram, search for Simply Scuba, hit that follow button, and then hey presto, you'll get these updates a little bit earlier than on YouTube. And you know, it helps me out as well because I run the Instagram account, which makes me look good. Anyway, obviously as well, the um, Daily Scuba News is on a podcast. I always mess that podcast bit up, but it's on a podcast. So wherever you get podcasts, it is streaming live. So you can get some bite-sized news for your journey to and from work or 
like most of us, to the toilet or to go and make a coffee, or like Mark does, to go, uh, what I was gonna say, wash his dog, walk his dogs, but yeah, so we're on a podcast as well. And of course, to our YouTube audience, don't forget to hit that like button, share today's story with fellow scuba divers, and if you haven't already, you have to smash, you have to well and truly smash that subscribe button. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you have a fantastic Monday or whatever day that you're watching this. And as always, stay classy, scuba divers.